Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to my critique. I know last week um, I had a fun time shooting in my garage with the Stella Pro lights and creating my own little studio at home. And I know we did this challenge um, for you to create some pictures at home. And we got some great pictures that I want to critique and show you and share with you. And so let's get going. Um, here's a photo here. I love it. I love the expression on um, this little guy's face and how he's into playing the drums and everything. And I like the outfit. I like the Beatles t-shirt uh, and the little red hat. Um, and I like the way it's post-processed. And let's take a look at the setup and see what he's doing here. So, okay. You can see that uh, he he got a backdrop to block out some of the lights so he could have a clean background and he's using just one light from the side which is awesome to give him that directional light um, and so it's very uh, basic setup uh, to create something clean like that and the post processing to add a little kind of lens flare um, and the reason why that lens flare works is because uh, that one light is coming in from one direction and I like how uh, you know you have light here and shadow here to create some dimension on the face so good job with that portrait alright let's get on to the next photo that I like I like this photo this was cool this actually looks outdoors uh, but if you look at where she shot it or how she did it was pretty amazing she just got some little twinkle lights that she put here and had some plants right and shot through it uh she said that she had to torture her teenage daughter <laughs> to get, take a picture and i totally understand that using the one simple light through an umbrella do you notice that like all these shots were just using an umbrella very simple setup right to give you that directional light and so that lights coming in here right and giving that highlight and shadow which i love and the catch light in the eye which is amazing and then shooting through something at a shallow uh lens uh which really makes it look cool uh maybe one little tip here is maybe i would have got whatever if that's a picture or something in the background take that away because her hair is kind of dark here right so if she would have pulled that away then you would have had a cleaner background there um, and then also wouldn't give away that you could literally be outside, right? So if it doesn't look like a tree or something like that, then, you know, you, you might think, well, that could be indoors, right? Even though when I first saw it, I thought it was outside, which is great. Um, in regards to the post-processing, it looks, um, I don't like the fact that these high, these darks here, is kind of crushed and I don't see any detail in there so I would open that up a little bit and maybe the nose a little bit more towards the light so I could see a catch light in here too uh, so that's why just this nose pointed towards that light a little bit more and then how that light uh, is like it I would like it a little bit more even on the face where it's so your eye goes to what's brightest right so uh, my eye is boom going towards this lower part here because that's where all this the light is but if it was evenly on her face there uh, it would be a little bit better um, and maybe somehow we could reduce these or color these in with yellow or something like that I'm not sure but because that kind of takes away a little bit from her face but I still like the effect and uh, that was a good try on that all right so let's go on to the next photo here um, great family photo here and I know it's really hard to do with all these kids to uh, get them to, <laughs> to act correctly and to actually look at the camera that's a feat in itself um, I like the expression on their faces uh, maybe if I could probably get this perfectly centered here that would be good um, and maybe the blacks are a bit crushed right where I don't see any detail in that dark I know it's hard because you're pressed up against this backdrop here and you can't get any light behind you to open that up so that's a tough shot um, but I love the before picture on this uh, because this is how real life is the chaos and like I said just trying to get your family of small kids together to take a shot is a feat in itself so I got to congratulate them on getting everybody together 
All right, here's another photo. I like the idea here, just using some basic things, um, using a sheet in the backdrop there for, for a backdrop. Um, I would probably use a, probably pull that subject away from the background because I think that's too much detail. I would like this background really blurred out. So I would use a lens with a lower f-stop or put it at a lower at least 1.8 so I could blur this background out. And so this line here is kind of conflicting with your subject. And so the detail in the back is conflicting with the detail on your subject. And so um you know i would like it more blurred out and maybe covered a little bit more i like how you're trying to do the wrinkles but um maybe bigger there let's look at the um what was set up you're using a ring light i like how you're using this little reflector getting some up light and you can see the catch lights in the eyes here um which was great and so um Perhaps you could pull this out a little bit further so that could be blurred out there or use a shallower depth of field uh, f-stop and which would blur the background out. And I think, you know, oops, go backwards. I think the, um, the lighting, uh, the posing, uh, see how these shoulders are square towards the camera? I think if these shoulders were kind of more at an angle, uh, that would look better too. And then also, I would like to see some space in between here so you can see the shape a little bit. So if you could kind of pull this shoulder forward towards this way or the opposite way, I think that would look a little bit better on the pose. And then maybe if you just kind of crop in maybe a tad tighter, which would blur out the background more when you're using a shallow depth of field, that would be good. Um, but um, I can see some highlight and shadow here, so which is good. Um, and so anyways, I, I like what you're doing there, and that was a nice try on that. Um, but I think a shallow depth of field would help you out on that portrait a bit. Okay, so let's go to the next photo here. Um, and I can see she's looking towards this light source here. Um, I like it. Um, this hair here is kind of bothering me though. And so she's pressed up against this backdrop here, um, which kind of makes it awkward. And that, that hair is really throwing my eye off and it's not real clean. Um, so just a little detail to remember about that. But um, take a look at uh, where it was shot. It's just using this window light. That's very creative there. Um, and I guess you're really crammed in there to get that shot. So that's a good job to get behind there. Perhaps maybe if you could pull this couch back here to just to give you a little bit of room to get in there um, would be a bit better. Okay, so let's go to the next photo, and here is our winner. I love this photo here. Um, it has a very commercial look to it. It looks like you're outdoors in the snow, and let's take a look at the setup. So they're using a one light, two light setup here um, with a reflector to get some up light in there. Just look at, you're just in the corner of your house here using this backlight to give you this nice rim light around there and then the way you post processed it um, with this little uh, looks like snow here right to give it that feel and you can see the two catch lights in the eyes here right so you can have the reflector on the bottom and then the light on the top um, I think this is our winner here. So congratulations to XD Photography. Did an awesome job. I like the highlight there um, and how they post-processed it. And it looks like they're in the snow when they're just inside their house. I think they did a great job. I think everybody did a great job. Um, and here's all the photos here of the ones that I selected. And so thanks for uh, participating and, and checking it out and I want to thank uh, B&H and Stella Pro Lights for sponsoring this uh, and we'll be getting out your prizes and so hopefully we'll be doing this again so I hope everybody is well and I hope you uh, learned a little bit from this critique and we will catch you later thanks